Step into the haunted history of Pitaweem, where our 16-year-old's chilling stories turned a peaceful village into a nightmare. In 1705, as a result of some wild stories told by a 16-year-old boy, three people died and others were cruelly tortured. Patrick Morton, the son of a local blacksmith, made allegations and accusations of witchcraft against some of his neighbours in the scenic village of Pittenweem in Scotland. One of the accused was Beatrice Lang, the wife of former town treasurer, who Patrick accused of sending evil thoughts to torture him. No one thought to question his story, and Beatrice was incarcerated, alone in a pitch-dark dungeon. After five long months and several trips to the torture chamber, she was freed, but died soon afterwards, alone and friendless in St Andrews. Another man accused by the boy was Thomas Brown. He starved to death in a dungeon. The third person accused of witchcraft was Janet Cornfoot. She managed to flee from her torturers, only to return home and be recaptured. She was caught by a mob in Pitweem on the 30th of January 1705 and beaten and dragged by her heels to the seafront. There she was swung from a rope tied between a ship and the shore, stoned, beaten severely, and finally crushed to death under a door piled high with rocks. To make absolutely certain that she was dead, a man drove his horse and cart over her body several times. Refused a Christian burial, her body was thrown into a communal grave at the spot known as Witch's Corner. All the others accused by the boy, Patrick, were eventually freed, and he was later exposed as a liar. Unbelievably, despite the truth coming to light and Patrick Morton's deceit exposed, justice remained elusive for the accused and the village, leaving a dark mark on Pitaweem's history.